Yes, we are sorting now the elders. The sorting is done by the elders, the elders, adult women. They are taking out the wheat out of it and they are also breaking the slums into powder. Yes, that is the first process. Okay, so now you can see that they are breaking the, uh, the slums or the clay into a powdered form. At the same time, sorting out the, the unwatered materials. So you can see in the calabash, 
are some unwanted materials uh, in the calabash right there. Okay? Uh huh. So this is going to be done until the, the clay is turned into total, uh, into a powdered form. Yes. Now, when we came from, uh, or when we were coming from the fetching of the clay, our mothers made a transit. They stopped over. And in our language, it's called what? Agba. Drop. As you know, in the wisdom of our ancestors, when they are traveling to a long distance, they make a transit or they make a stopover. That is exactly what we did there. So the process is ongoing and our mothers are sorting and breaking the clay into powder. So we are going to allow them and wait for our mothers or our sisters to arrive with the sacred water. Then the mixing and the rest will be done. Okay, so then we're talking about the transit. Uh, the transit. Yeah, the transit. We saw that the people who brought the clean made a transit. Does this same apply to those who fetch the water? Yes, those who fetch the water, it the same applies that uh, when our ancestors are traveling, they make transit. Okay, come and capture something here. Another session. They always make transit, okay, so that, because you know there's a distance, we went in for a whole distance, okay, so they have to make a what, a stopover to rest, okay. Now, as you can see, this is another session of the sorting and breaking of the clay into powder. So they are going to break all the clay you see into a powdered form and then take out the unwanted materials from it. It's the same process we saw from the other side. So when they finish, by then we believe those who have gone in for the water will be in. Then we're going to see how the mixing is also done. You understand? Yes, so this is all what it is. So we'll, we'll still get in touch. Definitely, definitely. We'll be doing, I'll we'll be giving our followers the necessary updates. Yes. Let's, let's, let's.
So now we they have brought the water as well. So now our, our father is going to continue with us and tell us what exactly is actually going on right now. Yes, uh, folks, uh, what you are seeing right now is not any form of stampede, but the leader. You can see the old lady is the leader of the this prayers, and she has finished her prayers, and everyone. Is scrambling for the this thing. Everyone is scrambling for some. Everyone trying to fetch. Sometimes, honestly, folks, it gets a little bit chaotic. Yes, though we try as much as possible to regulate this. You know, the men can only go in. Hey, the men can only go in to to do this but the rest is for the women to handle and this is how it is it, 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 it is something else and this the clay they are going for or the mud they are going for is not just a mud okay what you see they are going for is not just a waste or a mud but this is a whole a prayers on its own. This is a whole sacred stuff on its own. And, and, and then surprisingly, what, what we are seeing here right now, it looks like there's a, a white lady among them. And the white lady is rather struggling to get what we Africans don't want to get. You see, the problem is with our people, only a few ones that are working. But you see right now, 
the awakening is global now and people are waking up and you can see the population is increasing yes. the result of this thing is a lot of people are awakening and they realize that no this is the only way out and this is the one of the most effective prayer in our this spiritual calendar now let me explain this to you All right. what you see them fetching mm -hmm. they are going to use it as a form of a prayer against the war and this prayer is what the Ashkenazi Jews mm -hmm. saw and corrupted it as the Wailing War. Okay. Okay. So the Wailing War prayers that people go to Israel mm -hmm. and to do, this is the where it originated from. Oh, okay. It's from our ancestors. Okay. So it's a special prayer. So ask yourself, why would this woman be struggling for, be struggling for just a clay, a mat? No! Some of them have come to give a million and one testimony mm -hmm. about this mud, about these prayers. That is why everyone wants to get a piece of it. Wow. So you see, that's why I keep saying that every religion on, on earth borrowed from African spirituality. They stole some aspect of our spirituality and turned it into a religion. Surprisingly, I can see people almost half naked. They don't care whether they are happy. No, or yes. Whatever. All the attention is to get the material for the prayers. Both the young, the old, and everyone is scrambling for it. Even if you have a small, it's a enough for one. them. A piece of it is enough for them. Wow. I'm telling you, wow. I'm telling you, this is the, the, the wow. aspect that the whole world needs to see. Yes. We are going to almost full of the calabar. Yes, and it's not going to keep use it alone. Mm -hmm. She's going to share it with all the women from her family. Oh, okay, okay. And they're all going to do their prayers. Okay, okay. You understand? So those who have fetched theirs are now in a queue to go and make the prayers against the wall. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you can it's see inside. That so if you are ready, you can see. Some of them, so you see, some of them are sharing it to some of their sisters among, them 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 among themselves. Far, far there, I can see few of the ladies or the women over there. Yes. Trying to you see, rub their uh -huh. hands now, now see, them. see from the far, a stream in there. Okay. You see, they are praying on it. Uh -huh. They are praying on it. From the street end, they are praying on it, and very soon you see them start rubbing it against the wall. Every yes, every wall within this temple is seen as sacred. So some will go inside. So, I, I want to ask. Yes. Is it is it easy for someone who is not a Ghanaian? Oh yes. An African. So far as you are to partake in Yes, so far as you are Ghanaian, so far as you are African and you are a woman, you are entitled to partake in this. You are not supposed to only be it's not only meant for the initiates, but for everyone. Okay, so in this situation, just like you just said. In this situation, just like you just said, yes. the woman who we saw got a lot of the mud yes. is going to share among the family. Yes, among is, other women. Is, is it advisable for you to take the mud home? Or is that no, this is where the you do the rituals and the prayers here. Okay. What she did, let me tell you the sense behind what she probably did. Okay. It's because she may be the strongest among her, her, her friends. Family? Or a family. Okay. So she decided to go and fetch and struggle to get it. Okay. So she only moved a few steps and share it with them. Just like the way you see they are doing it yeah. in this video okay. right here. Okay. Yes. So as you see, they are doing it in that video. Okay. They out who shares it among themselves. All right. I, I have another question. Here. Yes. Uh, assuming there's someone in this family. Yes that is not in the country at the moment yes and it's outside ghana yes well the prayers that they are doing here yes take an all that you need to there. do if the person is a woman you just mention her name and do the prayers on her behalf 
just like we do in our in our various places when you are pouring a libation or you are praying for someone like a prayer of intercession exactly right. you can do it for everyone you understand okay. yeah. so that is how it is this marvelous yes so as far as you mentioned the person's name if the person is sick now let me tell you a lot of women have come to bring how do you call it they are uh, Thanksgiving mm -hmm. yeah, through okay. Okay. through we call it atamkaka they come they come to make prayers and sometimes it's not hearing to the priest mm -hmm. but when it is fulfilled whatever they've mm -hmm. promised whatever they promise to give to the energy they bring it so sometimes they will come here and you ask them what is this gift for what is they say oh the day we did the balili I made a promise that if I get a husband mm -hmm. if my business goes on well if my mother or my parent or someone who is sick get well, I'll bring this and this. So in fulfillment of that, I'm bringing this. So which means their prayers have been fulfilled. So is it, is it advisable yes. to, to, I mean, to mention or give us the name of the leader of these great people here? Because it, it looks like she, she, she is the mother to all of them. Yes, she's, you see, in our spirituality, in African spirituality, there's always the duality of the energies, okay. both male and female, and everyone has their leaders. So, when they brought the clay and, and they powdered it, their leader will come with the water and mix it and do his, her first prayers. Okay. And after that, he gives the go-ahead and she leaves for everyone to go in for her peace. So, so will she remain... No, if she remains there, she's old. If she remains there, she was escorted because right now. Yes, a, a stampede. Yeah. If they, they leave her here last year, she has to be rushed to the hospital. Oh because, but this time you see that even what they are doing, the male, the male, we the men are not supposed to be part. But because of the leader is very old in age, you see some men, they're providing security from her, pa her part. She was escorted from the crowd wow. and brought to safety wow. so now everybody you can see people everyone have gotten theirs so now they are waiting yeah. they are reciting and praying everybody is reciting on it <laughs> okay so among the people here yes we've, we've seen a lot of them with different 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 types of cloth is yes. there any significance about the cloth they, 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 they put on now you see the cloth in general everybody who comes here must be in a cloth now the difference is that those you see with a blue cloth on it they are initiates okay okay or the fiashidis okay. they are the initiates mm -hmm. that differentiate them between the ordinary members mm -hmm. of the community or, or members who are coming from a different part of the world are you getting me mm -hmm. now you'll be surprised tomorrow or Sunday you see all of them will be in blue in addition with their or normal cloth yeah. yes but today's activity you can see is such that you cannot okay so one more question for me yes on our way to get the mud and the water yes I realize all the women were quiet Yes. No one was speaking to them. Yes. They remained silent. So we got to the place, they got the mud, walked all the way, and came back here. Is, is there any secret behind that? Yes. Actually, when they set off from here, after the prayers is offered by the chief high priest, and they set off from the temple, they are not supposed to talk to anyone because already at that moment, They've taken the blessings yes, yeah, I, of the I, I, energy. I'm asking this because not even the, the, the media men around. Yes, could we're, talk we're to them. Allowed to talk to them. Yes, so not I, even I, the media men. Yes, the reason is that one, once they receive the prayers from here and they are energized, they are not supposed to talk to anyone on the road. Now, if they should talk to someone on the road, and that person may be carrying a negative energy. Okay. 
it could neutralize them. And as you could see, we are all working barefoot yeah. to the place. Mm -hmm. You understand? So to avoid being confronted by any negative energy on the way, okay. it is not advisable Thank to speak you. to strangers, even, even among themselves. Among them. so, so they don't talk. Literally, you mean they see each other as an enemy? No, it, it's not or... an enemy. Just that they understand. The yes, they understand the rules and the regulations. You see, in every ritual, there are rules and regulations that govern it. You understand? Okay. So, they are just only going by the rules. But it's not like someone... All these people you see, none of them lives here. They all came from their various houses. And some are coming from Togo, Benin, Nigeria, Accra. Some even are coming from outside Ghana, from the US and co. You understand? To partake in this thing. So, it is a ritual that our women understand. And the reason why you see them most or more here is that they know it, it is part and parcel of the process. And they understand. So nobody is being forced to do this. They came at their own free will. Everyone wants their business to, 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 to go on smoothly. Everyone wants happy marriage. Everyone wants blessings. You understand? So, that is all they are here. I tell you, this, this is more, more than I could say. I'm telling you, I mean... <laughs> like, seriously, they have uh, to, to say grounds where I see pastors with their members, but this is extra, extra. Yes, you see, if you understand, just like they understand the, spiritu the spiritual sig significance of this, you will do everything to get some of this mad. Women, most of the young women here are here to pray for their businesses, are here to pray for husbands, are here to do, to pray for better life or betterment of their life. You understand? So everyone wants to get a piece of this. This is awesome. Even you can see before we are all downstairs. But we have to climb up because there's nowhere you can put even your feet. Seriously? Yes, we can't. So that is the important. And now let me tell you, or let me sum this up with this. Yeah. You see, look at her on the wall. Okay. I don't know whether. Yeah, from afar. From the wall. Wall, wall a stream end. Mm -hmm. They are praying, they are against the wall, and they are, they are using their palm and they are rubbing the clay against the wall. Yes, they are praying, they are saying their prayers, everything. They are say, it's a quiet moment for everyone. Your prayers, you know your needs, you know your wants. So everything you are saying is, is inside your head. It's inside your head. So they are rubbing it. And this is what these Europeans copied from our ancestors, from the ancient world. And, and now it have turned it into what? A wailing war. But this is the origin of it. Come again. They do the same in India. They do the same in India. Okay. But the Indians... <laughs> the Indians have always been part of our spirituality. You know, our ancestors walked through the length and breadth of this world, you know. And there is a history that when our ancestors left that continent of moon mm -hmm. some went eastward okay. into yeah. far east for is for example one of our great men was known as what naga mm -hmm. sachi naga sachi he left to build that world or that place in japan called the nagasaki okay. in those days they don't describe them as true now Today's trolls that we see, there have been a lot of transformation. In those days, mm -hmm. they can invoke energy. They make things happen. happen. Today, a lot of things, it's like we are now getting back so, so, so what, what made, we lost. What made a change? You know, it's associating ourselves to various cultures. Cause us to lose some of this great knowledge. As my brother said, 
if this this is practiced in India. In India, yeah. You see, there is a country or there's a place called Bali. Bali, right? Yes, in India. Mm -hmm. The name Bali. We call this Ba Lili. The same spelling. Bali. Yes. And but they call it Bali. We call it Bali. Ba Lili. Have you seen the connection? So just just some little change. Wow. It is something that we will be sitting and, and be discussing it. The prayer is on. You can see it from the wall. Seriously, everybody even, is praying. Even, even to, to, to the rubbing on the wall. Yes. It's almost like a stampede again. <laughs> My brother. Uh, Africans. Africans. We are blessed. Just that we don't know ourselves. Okay. And as the awakening continues, mm -hmm. We are so we will be maybe be getting a bigger place for this. It will be very necessary. Yes, we're going to get a bigger place for this. Because the time of stampede, I even just look at this. It's huge. There's no space. No. We will so, get so, there. So what, what's the way forward after here? What else? Now after here, we will take a break okay. for today. Right. Then tomorrow, the real action. That tomorrow we're going to be the turn of the men. Yes. Tomorrow is boys' boys affairs. Uh -huh. So tomorrow we the men will be traveling and going to the sacred forest. So, so, so there should be extra energy, right? We should be expecting something <laughs> more, more, more clinical, more, so more heavy than this. If you see the women's own is like this, then you should expect more action tomorrow from, from the men. From the men. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for having time for us. And Thank you. Just as we said, we are ending it today. Tomorrow we'll definitely get close to you again Great. as you take us to another event tomorrow. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You're welcome, my brother. You're welcome, my brother.
เพื่อนอย่ามาโน้จากอะไรนี่จะสองนี้ว่าคนโทษแทบมากมากมีความมาตรฐานนี่ยังบอกว่าเล่นยังบอกว่าโน้ตอ่ะโน้ตอ่ะนั่นแหละแต่ใครอยู่ก็ได้